Hey everyone, I wanted to make a really quick video talking about Little FM, which is a save file manager for LSDJ that supports holding up to eight save files on one cartridge. Right now it supports some older cartridges that aren't being made anymore, like the Bleep Bloop, Smart Boy, Fighter Cart, and Dragon Derp. But there is a private beta version that supports El Cheapo SD and the inside gadgets carts. So how does it work? Well, first you need to patch your LSDJ ROM with little fm. Then you'll see these different SRAM operations. Right now the only one that works is load song, but check out how quickly the song loads. This is something that's really great for live use because it loads it really quickly. Just be careful to check whether your song has any unsafe changes before you load it. Press A, B, start and select to return to little fm. You can also load and save projects. This is where your extra save files are. As I said before, we've got eight slots, and this is really handy for managing multiple saves, especially when you're playing a live set. Another really cool feature is being able to send your entire save over a link cable to another Game Boy with Little FM. Here I've booted up an EMS cart with Little FM. Saving saves to the EMS isn't supported because the hardware doesn't allow it, but you are able to concatenate saves and load them, or you can also concatenate ROMs and it supports booting different ROMs from the EMS cartridge. It has to be something like MGB or Res that doesn't interfere with save data, but you're able to load up another ROM and boot more than one from your EMS. This private beta of Little FM also works with the El Cheapo cartridges, and I find it to be a superior method of dealing with LSDJ saves rather than working with the SD. It also supports inside gadgets cartridges. I've provided the link for the Little FM ROM and patcher. And if you're interested in the private beta to support your El Cheapo or Inside Gadgets cart, please let me know. Thanks to Nitro2K01 for making it. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.